So, what I'm going to be showing you now is how to do addition using place value counters. I recommend that you watch this video and then go on to watch our video using place value to do column addition with numerals. So, let's look and see which numbers we're adding together first. I can see that I've got 4,243 add 2,533. So I'm going to start by adding the digits in the place value column with the lowest value. In this case, that is my ones column. So in my ones, I've got three ones, add three ones. So I can see I've got three ones, add three ones. I know that three add three is one, two, three, four, five, Six, I've got six ones. Now I've done my ones, I'm going to move over to look at my tens column. So I need to see how many counters I've got all together, adding them together. I've got four tens and three tens. So all together that will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. Then I move to my hundreds. I've got two hundreds plus five hundreds. All together that will give me seven hundreds. And then in my thousands column, I have got four thousands plus two thousands. If I count them all together, that will give me a total of six thousand. So my total in this case for four thousand two hundred and forty three and two thousand five hundred and thirty three was six thousand seven hundred and seventy six. Let's move on to look at one which uses exchange. we've got some different numbers. We have got 5,273 add 1,452. So just like I did last time, I'm going to start with my ones digits. I'm going to start with the ones column because that's got the lowest place value in this calculation. So my ones digit, I want to see what I have got all together. Well, I've got three ones, add two ones. One, two, three, four, five ones all together. I've got five ones. So I'm going to write five underneath. Then I move on and I look at my tens column. Now I can see that I've got seven tens and five tens. So all together I have got twelve tens. Uh-oh. I can't write twelve tens in my tens column because I can only have a maximum value of nine in each column. The digits only go up to nine. So I'm going to need to do something a bit different here. When we have more than 10 as the total of one place value column, what we need to do is we need to exchange those counters. We need to exchange a 10 and move it into the next column along. So we'll do that together. What I need to do is I need to make a group of 10 counters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to group those 10 counters together and I'm going to move them into the hundreds column because 10 tens adds up to 100. So I move those tens into the hundreds column and I can show that by getting a new hundreds counter and putting it underneath. Now I can see that after I've grouped those 10 tens, and move them into the hundreds, I'm left with two tens. So I write my value of two tens. Now I can move on to my hundreds column. I've got two hundreds plus four hundreds. Well, that gives me six hundreds altogether, but I mustn't forget about this hundred that I exchanged. I've got six hundreds plus another hundred. That gives me seven hundreds, seven hundreds. I haven't had to exchange anything there, so I can move straight onto my thousands column. I've got five thousands plus one thousand. That will add up to give me a total of six thousand. Now that you've watched this video, why don't you move on and have a look at how we do column addition using a formal column method. Thank you for watching Year 4.